I did expect it to be super crazy. Organizers call it the third largest city in Alberta, with more than one million guests coming through the gates of the Calgary Stampede. Law enforcement needs to be close by. That's why Calgary Police set up a ninth district right on Stampede grounds. It's fit with its own dispatch and officers. There's specific officers that are assigned to the grounds to take calls, as well as officers that are assigned to certain areas of the grounds. Calgary Police also pairing up with neighboring services. I'm with the Bloodshed Police Service. Um, we have an exchange program with the Calgary Police. We send officers here just to build partnerships and help each other out. Officers say the night shifts come with a little bit more to look out for as that's typically when people can get a little bit rowdy. But they do add, for the most part, all of the cowboys and cowgirls have been on good behavior. We're taking calls for missing kids. Um, lost and found items. Um, this year, the from what I've seen, uh, the behavior's been really good. We haven't dealt with a lot of situations. The officer's presence on Stampede grounds is more than just about going on patrol. It's also about building relationships, which is why they're giving away patches like these to interested kids or tourists. I traded a patch yesterday with an officer from Germany, so that was pretty cool. Something that they can bring home uh, to their families or you know, back to their country or anything like that is super exciting. You always want to welcome them to Canada, Alberta, or even just into southern Alberta with you know, a happy face and everything. In Calgary, Jillian Code, City News.